Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to log the start and end time of all tasks inside an SSIS package. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber and he asked I want to log start and end time of every task in the package and error description as well. If there is an error, can you please? So I thought to make a video on this one. So let's jump to the demo. I have created a very basic package, just three tasks execute SQL task, data flow task and an script task. In the first task, I have just put a delay for the three seconds so that we know that this particular task is taking three seconds and the data flow task is empty. <laughs> okay, so you can implement this particular auditing to your existing package and there is some code inside the script task as well. So it means that you can apply this particular auditing thing to any SSIS package. Okay, so right now the package is not doing anything special. Let me just start running the package and show you that the package is running fine and it is waiting for three seconds at the create the table execute SQL task and then rest of the two tasks are getting executed very quickly okay so the package is running fine but right now there is no auditing or anything okay and now I want to do the auditing I want to know like how much time the first task is taking how much time the second task is taking how much time the third task is taking okay and for example if there will be 20 or 30 tasks inside the package then I will write such a code that it will log the start and end time of all the tasks irrespective to the number of tasks inside the SSIS package and it will also log the total time taken by the SSIS package as well like when the package was started when the package was completed and if the package got failed then we will also log the failure message as well to the SQL table so let's see how we can do that so let me stop running the execution of the SSIS package and let me open the SQL Server Management Studio. So this is my SQL Server Management Studio and I'm going to use the test database uh, on the SQL Server 2019 instance and you can write this code on any version of the SQL Server and I will share all the scripts with you like the create table statement and any update query I will use or insert query I will share that scripts with you. You can download it from the link in the description of the video. Okay. So I will create this audit log table in the database that create table audit log. So this table contains the ID as an identity column and then we have the package name column, then the task name column, then start time of a task, end time of a task and the error message. So in case if the package will fail then it will contain the error message as well. So for a particular package, for a particular task we will have the start time and, and the end time. Okay and right now the table is empty I have just created the table but the table is empty as of now okay now let me go back to the SSIS package so how we will insert the start time and end time of a particular package okay so you know we have the event handlers in SSIS and if you check the event handlers so on the left side this is the main package and then if you go to the executable so you can see all the tasks here okay but if you select the package and if you write any code on a particular event then that particular code will be applicable to all the tasks inside the SSIS package so for example if I write something on the pre execute event then this particular code will run for each and every task inside the SSIS package okay so this can help us to write an insert query on the pre execute event so when the pre execute event will be executed actually the pre execute event just start before going to just kick off a particular task so when you are just going to execute a particular task at the same time the on pre execute event just got executed okay so before starting a task we can write some insert query like the start time for every task at this particular event and similarly we can write the end time on the on post execute event so when a particular task will finish executing we can just update the end time for that particular task and because we just need to write the insert and update query just once but it will be executed for each task inside the SSIS package okay so now the thing is we can easily write an insert query and uh, in the insert query we can just get the source name like on which task it got executed and we can write the start time as well but at the same time we need to get the ID from this particular table so if a record will be inserted then we will have the value for the package name task name start time but the end time will be empty and as soon as the package will finish executing so on the on post execute event we can just update that end time okay like we can update the end time to the get date so on the pre-execute event we will write this query insert into 
ऑडिट लॉग द पैकेज नेम टास्क नेम स्टार्ट टाइम एंड टाइम विल बी नल फॉर द एरर मैसेज इट विल बी ब्लैंक एंड वॉट यू विल डू वी विल सेलेक्ट दिस क्वेरी लाइक सेलेक्ट एट द रेट एट द रेट आइडेंटिटी सो वॉट दिस पार्टिकुलर क्वेरी विल डू दिस विल रिटर्न द मैक्स आइडेंटिटी दैट जस्ट गॉट इंसर्टेड इन टू द ऑडिट लॉक टेबल सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई शो यू इफ आई एग्जीक्यूट दिस क्वेरी सो इट रिटर्न द वैल्यू वन बिकॉज देर इज वन रिकॉर्ड इन द ऑडिट लॉक टेबल सो इट जस्ट रिटर्न द हाइएस्ट आई डी वैल्यू ओके नाउ इफ आई विल री एग्जीक्यूट दिस क्वेरी अगेन सो इट विल रिटर्न वैल्यू एस टू ओके सो I can just get this value two, and I can assign it to an SSIS variable, and that particular value I can use to update the end time for that particular task. So that's how we can just get the start time of all the task, and then we can update the end time as well. Okay. So let's see how we can do that. So let me truncate this table so that I can show you like running the whole package at once. Okay. So what I can do on the pre-execute event of the SSIS package, I can put this insert query. and on the on host execute event of the ssis package i can paste this particular query and then for error handling we will put another query okay so for the pre execute event let me just copy this particular query from here okay and then let me select the on pre execute event of the ssis package and click on click here to create an on pre execute event handler now i can just drag and drop the execute sql task here and i can call it as pre logging and i can right click click on edit from the connection i can select the connection here now because we are going to use some variables so i need to select the expressions and from here i can select sql statement source and then i can maximize this one i can put a double quote paste the query and the double quote okay so this is fine now we have provided the package name here so my package name is package and the task name we, we can get from the system variable so i can put double quote plus plus double quote and we can just expand the variables expand system variables and there is a variable source name so we can just drag and drop the source name here so this is fine and uh, i can click on okay 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 now there is one thing that uh, because we will get this particular value identity value for the id columns so we need to define an ssis variable id here so let me click new to add a new variable and i can call the variable as id and the data type is in 32 by default so that is fine so i can just close this one and now i can go back to the event handlers and in the pre logging i can edit this one and from result set i will select the single row because it will return one value for every execution now i can go to the result set click add set the value as 0 for the result set name and from the variable name select the id variable now click on okay now for every execution for every task we will get the id of that particular inserted records okay now what we will do after the execution of a task the post execute event will be fired up so we can write the update query on the on post execute event so i can click here to create an on post execute event and i can just drag and drop the execute sql task here i can call it as post execute and then i can edit this one from the connection i can select the this sql server connection i can go to the expressions i can select sql statement source from here maximize this one put a double quote here and then we can use this particular update query here because we need to update the end time for that particular task now i can paste the update query and the double quote now for this id right now the id is hard coded but we can get this id from the id ssis variable so i can put double quote plus plus double quote and now i can just drag and drop the id variable here so i can just drag and drop it here because id is of type integer so we need to type cast it to string so i can write dt underscore wstr comma 12 the length of the id will be max length will be the 12 okay so i can click on evaluate expression so this is working fine i can click on okay 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 so this is fine so now there is one thing that what will happen when this particular package will run so initially the on pre execute event of the ssis package will be executed but after the on pre execute event of the ssis package the on pre execute event of the this task will get executed and then the on post execute event of this task then on pre execute event of this task and on post execute event so what will happen that the on pre execute event id of the ssis package will not be saved and it will be overwritten with the first task inside the ssis package okay so what we can do that in the on post execute event uh, we can check that 
if the task name is the package name then it means that uh, we need to update the value for the package and time okay so what we can do uh, maybe I can just drag and drop the data flow task here and uh, I won't write any code here but we will use some precedence constants and I can connect this data flow task with the on post execute event and what I can do I can write a condition here expiration and constants and uh, what I can do I can just write a condition that if source name double equal to package it means that if the source is the package okay then what we need to do that we need to update the value differently and if the source is not the package then we will update the end time differently so the first time I will put a condition if source name is not the package it means that it is some other task okay so then I can click on ok so then we will update the end time like this way and this will work fine but I will write another update condition for the package name and let me paste it here let me show you what we will write so I can copy this value from here copy this one and then I can paste it here expression and constants I can paste this value here and then I can write that if the source name equal to package so if the task is the package then what we will do we will update this value differently and how we will update it so I can go to the expressions and uh, in here I will write the update query like this like update audit log set end time is equal to get date so I will get the ID select top one ID from audit log where package is equal to package name and task name equal to also the package name and end time is null order by ID DSC so the latest entry that is done by the SSIS package where the task name is also package so we will get that ID and we will update this value okay so this is one of the thing if you want to get the end time for the package as well then you need to write this thing and if you do not want to get the total time taken by the package and you are just interested in the time taken by a task then you don't need to implement this kind of thing okay so I can click on evaluate expression click ok ok so our package is almost ready now so for getting the start time and end time this is ready but we also want to get the error description as well so what we can do from the event handlers we can select the on error event and I can click here to create a new event handler and I can just drag and drop the execute SQL task here and uh, I can write like do error handling and I can just edit this code from the connection I can select the connection from the expressions I can select the SQL statement source I can maximize this one put a double quotes and then we need to write an insert query okay so this will be the insert query for the error description so I can copy this one and uh, I can paste this value here from the task name I will select the source name double quote plus plus double quote so I can just expand this one expand system variables and I can just drag and drop the source name SSS variable here now for the error description I can put double quote plus plus double quote and then I can just drag and drop the error description here okay but there is one thing that uh, for the error description we need to replace the single quote with a blank string maybe because it might cause the issues while inserting the data into the SQL server table so I, I can replace the single quote with a blank string so that's fine I can share all these insert query with you so you can use it in your environment if you want I can click on ok 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 so our SSS package is ready now and if you check right now the audit log table should be empty and now let me start running the package and it should log all the details like it should log the time taken by each and every task and also the total time taken by the SSIS package as well and if the package will fail then it will do the error handling as well so the package ran fine now let me go back to the SSMS and let me execute this query so now you can see that this is the logging for the package like the task name is the package the start time is this one 825 it 28 second okay and it got completed at 32 seconds so it took around 4 seconds okay and this is the like the start and end time for the create the table task this is the start and end time for the load data data flow task this is the start and end time for the uh, script task rename the file so this is the start time for all the task and this is the end time for all the task and yeah and this is the start and end time for the SSIS package
and the error description is empty as of now and if any error will occur then you, you will get an entry for the error description here so let me try to fill the SSIS package so that you can see the error details as well so here what I can do uh, maybe I can write select uh, 1 by 0 so it will throw an error divide by 0 error I'm just intentionally failing the SSIS package just to show you that the process will fail so the package failed at the first task itself and now if I check the auditing again so now you can see that the package got failed at this particular task create the table the end time is null and this is the actual error message executing the query select 1 by 0 fail with the following error divide by 0 and counter ok so whatever error message will be all the error messages will be locked to the this audit log table inside the error message yeah so this is how we can just log the start time and end time for all the tasks inside the SSIS package so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much